uh, hi uh, this is one question which is being asked by one of my student i do not know the source of this but i would want to answer this this question relates to the bayes theorem okay so we will be interested in solving this question and this is related to the bayes theorem so if you see here like uh, john is forecasting a stock price in 2011 conditional on the progress of certain legislation in the us okay so the outcomes are divided into three categories that is the legislation is passed stalled or defeated so there are three cases of this so the three cases are passage stalled or defeated so whenever you see this okay what we can do is like we can draw a tree diagram and we say that this is the starting point so here let's say we say that the legislation is pa passed okay so passage legislation is stalled okay and here we'll say that it is defeated okay so these are the three sources now what we say is like probability of each of this is given so 20% so the probability of this is 20% this is 50% and this is 30% okay now when the legislation is passed okay so the stock price can increase okay so the stock price can increase so probability of increase in stock price given the legislative outcome or the stock price can decrease or it can remain same so the third one is not given over here so 10% is that it will increase 60% it, it will decrease the remaining will be 30% that it will remain the same here it will be 40 and 30 so this will also be 30% here it will be 20% okay so let us see what is a big question being asked so what happens is like over here the passage you can have three scenario okay that is the stock price remains same stock price increases or stock price decreases these are the three scenario here also we can have the three scenario increase stays the same decrease so here when the legislation is passed the probability of the stock price increase is 0.1 10% this is remain the same is 30% decrease is 60% okay here increase same decrease the probability of increase in when it stalled is 40% okay this is 30% so this is uh, remaining the same is yeah 30% decrease is 30% okay and what we have is we have the third scenario over here increase same decrease increase same decrease increase is given as how much 70% decrease is 10% so, sorry uh, decrease is uh, 10% and same is 20% okay so let me just uh, yeah so we have same is 20% now the question is a portfolio manager would like to know the stock price does not change so what we have is we know with certainty that the stock price we know with certainty that the stock price does not change okay what is the probability that the legislation is passed so here we are saying that if the stock price is not changing what is the probability that legislation is passed so this is a bayes theorem why because here we know that the stock price does not change so it is remaining the same so either we are in this scenario or in this or in this so these are the three possible places that are applicable okay so stock price remain the same here here and here we want to know what is the probability that the legislation is passed so where the legislation is passed the legislation is passed over here okay so what we have to do is like we have to find out the probability of this node let us say node 1 node 2 and node 3 the probability of this node will be given as 0.2 into 0.3 this into this joint probability of this and this the probability of node 2 is this into this a joint probability of uh, the legislation being stalled and the stock price being decreased in remaining the same the third one is the probability of legislation being defeated and the probability of stock price remaining the same so these are the three probability so what we can say is the probability of stock price not changing is this plus this this plus this and plus this so this summation of this will be your stock price not changing if you compute it 
this is equal to 0.06 this is equal to 0.15 this is again equal to 0.06 so total is how much 0.27 so summation of this and this and this is 0.27 so what we say is this is my total case okay i refer this as a total case and any probability is given as your favorable case divided by total case so in this case what is my favorable case in this case the my favorable case is that given the stock price remain the same that the passage of legislation is being done so what we say is if you uh, focus over here we say that this is the path we are looking in for so out of the total three scenario this this and this our favorable scenario is this that is the node one is our favorable scenario so favorable scenario is my node one total is node one node two and node three so what is the probability of node one it is 0 0.06 so this will be given as 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.27 if i compute it okay in the calculator it will be 0 0.06 divided by 0.27 the answer is 0.222 so your answer over here will be 0.222 or 22.2 percent so this is how you will be solving the base theorem because what happens is if you draw this type of tree diagram it becomes very simple so probability is favorable case divided by total case do not one uh, worry about a given b or all those things so those i would re highly recommend not to worry about i will say that this is how you should be solving okay so this is like i have taken from my student okay i do not know the source so if there is a, any copyright violation please uh, tell to me so that i will be removing this video but i think that this is a very good source of getting an idea about the base theorem okay thank you